Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to the God Seller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here with lovely Sister Amber. <laughs> okay, and I got the prophecy, um, let's see, first thing this morning. So I'm going to be in um, 1 Corinthians um, chapter 2, verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Okay, that's as far as I'm going. Now, um, before I start the, the, the prophecy, let me tell you what the Lord had me do. He's done this two other times that I know of. Before I, had, I got the prophecy, um, he had me go and research something. He wanted me to um, look up things, um, cities that were um, underwater that had been um, exposed now. He wanted me to look up things that were under ice that we can see now. And he wanted me to look at things that were under ash that we, we can see now that have been revealed or uncovered during research or whatever. So I found this very interesting. He did that to me, like I said, I'm pretty sure on two other prophecy messages. So I did that. Um, so now I'm talking to Brother Dan. Brother Dan, I told Brother Dan I was getting a prophecy and he asked me if it was a doomer, as we call it. My answer was, not sure. And then I started to tell him what the Lord was telling me. The Lord says, listen, children. I'm speaking to all of you. I am slowly revealing the hidden mysteries. I am exposing both the light and darkness for all to see. It is written, you must work out your own salvation. I am opening the eyes and the ears of the blind and deaf. I want you to be with me in my father's house. You must consider carefully what is being presented to you now. The dark forces and the power of the beast and his system are slowly being accepted. Do not be deceived. I want you to quietly review the earth changes and the plagues and how the authorities are using these events to further their evil agenda. Do not be seduced by the dark one. I want you to know I am beside you. Stay on the narrow path. Do not believe the lies of the enemy. Soon you will see things no man has seen before. Prepare and repent. The appointed time has arrived. Whoa, how's that? That should make your hair stand up. We're at the end. This is it. Jesus is coming back. Get your house in order. Um, let your family know. Um, look around as he says. The beast system is slowly being accepted. You need to belong to Jesus Christ. You need to be baptized. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Sister Amber and Sister Jasmine are going to get baptized in the brand new swimming pool. <laughs> yes, I know. Thank you. Thanks, God. So I want to thank everyone for everything. Marisol. Um, Brother Dan doesn't actually know that you sent this yet because I forgot to tell him. But thank you. It's a beautiful card. And then I got another beautiful card this one too and a little letter in there from do i want to say it correctly L laray i believe that's how yes, you thank you it. so much the cards are beautiful we love you guys um thank you everyone for the encouraging comments um thank you everyone um that transcribe uh, uh prophecy messages in the other languages underneath the um videos um thank you everyone that supports the ministry um financially thank you everyone that sends me all these lovely things in the mail all the time now what i wanted to say um with these prophecies. I've never gotten prophecies like this back to back. Never, ever, ever. Neither Brother Dan nor I. So we know the time is up and something major is coming upon us. Um, but I want to say this. A lot of people um, send messages that they don't understand. They're not hearing God. God is speaking to you. Amber, God is speaking to you. He really is. I know. I get the dreams. I know. <laughs> Most people hear things and they dismiss it. They don't understand that it's actually God who is, is calling them or speaking to them. And, and they dismiss it. They, they don't pay attention to it. And I and Brother Dan said um, the other day, he said, I made a really bad mistake. He said, you know that little voice that nudges you to do something? I said, yes. Don't dismiss that. <laughs> That's God. Unless it's something bad. If yes. it's telling you to do something bad, dismiss it. Dismiss Don't it. do normally, it. Normally, if you're getting a, 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 a nudging on doing something, that is God trying to get your attention and that you may need to do something in order for you to hear better, hear him better, or hear or cooperate with him. He's trying to tell you something. 
Anytime I didn't listen to what I'll call the little voice, I got in trouble. Anytime I, I dismissed it and said, nah, I'm not going to do that, I got in trouble. I always listen. He's listening. He's talking to everyone, not just me, not just Brother Dan, not just Sister Amber in, in her dreams and visions and things. No, he's talking to everyone. you got to pay attention. Like it says in the scripture, um, my sheep know my voice. Another they will not follow. You need to listen. He's talking to you. He wants to, a personal relationship with you. He wants to correspond with you. I sit here and I talk to him all day. I said, if the neighbors could hear me, they'd be like, who is she talking to in there? I know she has fish. Yeah, I talk to them. <laughs> no, I talk to God too. I talk to him out loud all day long. And I'm not even ashamed to say that. I do. And he answers me in my prayers. He answers all of my prayers all the time. Please call on him. Uh, get a personal relationship with him going. You need to do that. We're at the end. God bless you all and thank you. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to uh, like and follow on the Facebook channel. And again, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to catch, catch up with things. Hopefully I will be able to do that and get some quiet time without doctor appointments. So I'm going to say God bless you all and thank you and visit again. We love you guys. Thank you. Be safe and be kind. Thank you, Sister Amber.